You're watching Extra Throttle House. Where's Thomas? And I'm James. Okay, the answer to that question is Thomas is in Toronto doing some race suspension stuff with his car, broken BMWs, etc., etc. I've made the effort and I've come to California for Car Week. And Lucid have invited us to come and have a look at this. This being the Lucid Air Sapphire. And it is a monster. This marks the beginning of Lucid's new performance brand called Sapphire because apparently the 11T11 horsepower Airdream performance we drove in the canyons and the 1050 horsepower Grand Touring performance that we scared Chris Harrison don't count as performance. So now we have this. It has over 1200 horsepower. It boasts some absolutely insane numbers. Less than two seconds to 60 miles an hour, less than four seconds to 100 miles an hour, under nine seconds for a quarter mile. And you're thinking, well, that's pretty crazy numbers. It must be expensive. And you're right, it costs a fortune. 250,000 US dollars starting, 325,000 dollars Canadian. That's a lot of smackaroos for something that's named the same as a Pokemon game. But I've been thinking about this for mere minutes and you realize that the Koenigsegg Gamera, which costs 1.7 million, has similar performance to this. And the Rimac Nevera, which beats this, by 0.05 seconds to 60 is also in the millions. So you, what you're looking at is a performance bargain. Unless you're thinking about the Tesla Model S Plaid, whose price starts with a one before it. But this is now a tri-motor like the Plaid. It has more horsepower. It's allegedly quicker and it looks different. The Model S Plaid doesn't really change when you get to the Plaid. This has some impressive visual subtle changes. First, the Lucid Air Sapphire only comes in blue. The blue is called Sapphire Blue. And it benefits from the stealth look that Lucid recently announced. So it gets dark here instead of the light silver. Also across here, this is normally a big silver blade, which some people didn't really like. It, it contributed to the, the shaver look. This now looks more stealth. I think it kind of looks cool. But more importantly, on the performance side, we have some more stuff going on. Everything's in the name of performance for this, which is good because they're charging a fortune for it. This has fender flares now. These are 12 millimeter on the front and it gets wider at the back with 24 millimeters. And below those, and Thomas will be happy about this, we have wheels that aren't obsessed with looking like they have good aero. These are performance-based wheels. They've chosen lightness and if you really do want to get the range in, they have these carbon fiber covers that you can stick on for your longer journeys. But as it stands, these look great and they still get the blue of the sapphire. And inside of those, we've got some 420 millimeter Akebono brake rotors, which are absolutely massive with 10 pots in the front and four pots in the back. We have a carbon fiber spoiler going on back here. We've got carbon fiber on the wing mirrors. Kind of standard stuff, but again, the plaid doesn't really look any different. So this has those subtle, subtle things going on that make it look monstrous. It's wider, it's lower. I think it looks stanced. It has different suspension going on and it also has this front lip that protrudes just a little bit more for downforce. Again, all in the name of performance, but what's the point in performance if from the inside you don't feel like you've just spent $325,000? Let's have a look. Okay, inside the most powerful sedan ever. Doesn't feel like it. Not many theatrics going on in here compared to the normal Lucid stuff. This is the Mojave color scheme, so it's quite dark and, and sinister, but it's not very exciting. And it's the only color scheme you can get with the Lucid Air Sapphire. So if you wanted all the beautiful, more pale creams and whites and all the other stuff, you can't get that for a bit. Um, but until then, we do have some changes going on in here. So first of all, the steering wheel is covered in Alcantara and also the seats have Alcantara inserts. They're more bolstered. We, there's a few decisions that confuse me a little bit. So we've still got all the glass roof and this is a heavy car. So you'd have thought with the real performance variant, they might have gone for something like carbon fiber. But as a result, your passengers can still see the stars in the sky. So I guess that's good. And as a result of the Sapphire stuff, we've got blue going on everywhere. And instead of sprint, we now have Sapphire as the fastest mode. So in smooth and swift, if you remember from our reviews, it doesn't give you full access to the power until you're in sprint. Now we have Sapphire and this will have things like a lap timer and a drag timer and have more exciting stuff going on. Uh, that font really does look like a Porsche font, doesn't it? So sitting here, very similar, very normal, very comfortable. We, you know, listen, we, our time in the Lucids have been wonderful. And in fact, we're being taken around Laguna Seca 
by the Stig, Ben Collins, in this car in a couple of days. So keep an eye on our Instagrams for that. But yeah, we love it a lot. Um, they feel like an absolute step up from the testers. And that sounds a bit shilly. Uh, I'm not being shilly, I promise. If, if I was being shilly, could I say pee pee wee wee poo poo la la? Probably not. Um, but just they are seriously impressive next gen feeling vehicles. Does that work? You know, not perfect on the interface side of things, but now I've got space. No, I mean, it is totally unassuming. If you know, you know, and this is now going to be the most if you know, you know car on the road. It is an absolute monster. It costs a lot, but it's going to be mind blowing. I cannot wait to drive it.